Hello there everyone, I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you remember, we have a boss to fight. See, that punk there. Now, I could have very well done this fight in the last episode, seeing how there is a ridiculously easy way to deal with him. So, if we get back here... Oh god, I don't want to be stupid here. Well, now, right now he has a shield down, but even if he didn't we would be able to reach him from here and just kinda shoot the hell out of him until he dies. See? Well, he was certainly the most hard-ass boss I've ever fought. It was all kinds of impressive now, wasn't it? Sure was. So yeah, he's dead. That was anticlimactic, as someone would probably say about this. And would be right about it. Yet yeah, I still took a bit of damage, maybe because I was kind of clumsy in avoiding the fire, but... Eh, uh, nothing too major. So, now the question is, how do we proceed? Probably by sucking this guy's blood. Why doesn't this work? Dude! Now if he kills me, that would be dumb. But he doesn't. That is much, much smarter. Though I did lose a bit of health, but yeah, I would argue that it's on a decent level right now. Or at least on a level that we can deal with. Also, there's another guy in here who can act as a source of blood, so I had no reason to worry there. Yep. Alright, I don't think that this area should be much larger, but then I don't quite remember it all that well. So I might be wrong about that. Let's see, there are... Eh, didn't see you there. Hey! What? That was these guys. Yep, you too. Really not much of a challenge if you have decent combat skills, and if I have anything, then it's decent combat skills. I mean, I'm pretty good about this. Next area. And I think this should be the last one. Eh, I guess. We're gonna find out. Once again, I don't remember this area being all that large. I just, um... Yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> so... If you can't tell, there's gonna be a boss fight in there. And just to not be dumb about this, I save here. You know, just as a as a safety measure. <laughs> Alrighty. So time to fight. I recognize the smell of your blood, young canine. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Yeah, we never actually saw him die, right? Come on, didn't I kill you already? This time I'll finish the job. Puppet! The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! No, oh, cut out the chit chat. Um, wasted is what you're about to be. Wait. Ah, alright. Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. What do you think is gonna happen? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Now what's gonna happen? You're not gonna tell me, right? Well, that would have been too much to ask for. Well, now he has changed into his fighting form. His Zulu shape, whatever that means. If I was familiar with the lore of this game, I would know that, but I am not so. Heh. <laughs> So his gimmick is that he can move around in this sea of blood very fast and jump out at us whenever we don't expect him. See, kinda like that. 
But seeing how we are doing quite a lot of damage to him, I don't think he should be much of a danger to us. Yeah, but then that shouldn't be an excuse for us to be careless. Quite the opposite, actually. We should be still careful and maybe heal ourselves when we still have the opportunity to. Ah, come on, I could have gotten another hit there. But I didn't, so what do you say about that? Stay here. No, stay here. Stay. Yeah, like that. Well, that was a hard boss fight. Almost as hard as the last one. But yeah, we killed Andre, and then we can get out of here again, I hope. If we are able to, um, to find a door. And while we are at it, hey, got a few new experience points. Anything we can invest them in. Eh, nothing worthwhile. I think. Yeah, for that we would need 8 points. So that means we can get back out of here. And that katana, the Talmai Rablade. It is one we don't already have, right? Right, compared to the other one, well, the 12. No, appears to have the exact same stats. Okay. But we're still going to use it because it looks kind of cool. I suppose. Now, about that whole getting out of here business. Where's the door? By which I don't mean the door we came in, but the door we... Inventory for? Well, I suppose so. Yet I have no idea what we were even... I don't know. Well, drop. Maybe it's something valuable, you never know. Oh, a torch. We could use these as weapons, really. And I don't need that. I don't think it can be any stronger than what we have now. Now, where do I get out again? <laughs> I'm wasting my time here. I'm making a cut. Oh, wait. We found our way out. But look at that. Sorry, there's a dialogue. Oh, hey, you. Is that so? Um... Your agents at the stronghold weren't so friendly. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of Lacroix. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. Well, will you look at that? So, what about the alliance between you? We did have an arrangement, Lacroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. Why couldn't you tell me about this have before? You Kindred, I could not have guessed the significance of your path. My arrangement with your prince was too sensitive to reveal. What happened to the arrangement? The core zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. Likely story. Lacroix feared Alistair Grout, the Monkavian primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about Lacroix's ambitions. Yeah. Lacroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems a hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And as you can see, I was integral to his plan. What? Oh, but why did you agree to do this? Lacroix convinced me that an alliance with a Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quajin. And so with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Brown. Well, I didn't know you were a shapeshifter. That's nice for you. So, I saw you at the mansion, right? Yes. You were made to be the witness. For your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devised such a story. Lacroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. Ah, uh, yeah. Why are you telling me all of this? You need to understand that you are a liability, Kendra. Once Lacroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of, just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. Ah, uh, yeah. So... 
Uh, I gave him the sarcophagus. You are no more to him than an entry on his ledger. A sum of that which can be bled from you. Now what does any of this matter now? He has the sarcophagus. Hear these words, Kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. I see. Thanks for your honesty, Ming Xiao. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. Spoiler, it's not. We'll see you later. And now get out of my space. So that would be done too. What do we have to do next? Uh, well, probably actually report back to... Um, to Lacroix, who apparently is double crossing basically everyone in this city. Well, let's see what he has to say about this. Probably quite a lot of things, seeing how much of a love affair this game has with the concept of exposition. So, in there we go. Um, I really hope to do one other main quest in this episode. Really hope I get to do it. Eh, never mind. Hey, Chunks, you're alive. Gee, do you believe what happened the other night? I couldn't come into work on account I bought a tamale from a street vendor and got to scoot something terrible. What a lucky thing, too, because that food poisoning saved my life. Wow. Um, that's one lucky bout of the runs. <laughs> you're telling me. But if I had been there, those punks wouldn't have gotten past the front desk. There are two <laughs> things I can't tolerate, and that's terrorists and tainted tamales. I hear you. Now I need to see LaCroix. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but it should be alright. Oh, I bet he wasn't. Thanks. Ah, good old Chucks. The most useless, but nevertheless best character in this game. Up to the penthouse we go. Hey, man. The Sabbat. Done. Another obstacle is removed. From the enemy, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. My victories in this city are in no small part due to you. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule the city side by side, you and I. Hmm. I found out how to get the key. You found the key? Where? Who has it? Um... Ming Xiao has it, and she also told me to tell you the alliance was off. This nonsense again! Look, I told you before, no kindred would ever ally themselves with those demons. This is a subterfuge. A trick to start a civil war. And apparently, it's worked. Then Nance is innocent. She took his shape, and she killed Kraut. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. The Kuei Jin have revealed their plot. <laughs> they want us to war against each other? Well, to that, I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Together, we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all. Yeah, to hell with these four in us. <laughs> uh, everyone in this game is an ass. Well, do you really think the Anarchs will trust you? It's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of who they dislike more. The Camarilla or the Kuei Jin. The Kuei Jin killed their last leader and threatened all of our kind. I think they'd agree to an alliance. So you want me to talk to them, to them right? Go to the last round immediately. Tell them the Quaid Jin have admitted to killing Kraut, and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Quaid Jin pose, and wish to negotiate a pact. You will be my emissary for the Alliance, so naturally, you speak on behalf of the Camarilla. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred Depends on your success tonight. No pressure. 
All right, so back to the back to the bar we go to the last round. Gonna make a cut here and see it there. Oh man, something happened. Uh, about the sarcophagus. Yes. Don't open it. Whatever you do, do not open the Ankaran sarcophagus. But you said there was nothing to worry about. Well, despite what I said, if that sarcophagus is opened, there will be disaster. In what form, I cannot be sure. But after studying the evidence, I'm convinced now that it is better left undisturbed. And anyone who pursue any other course is deserving of the consequences. Why did you change your mind? There's an intangible sensation I haven't been able to put my finger on since I came to town. I still don't know where it seeps from. But if the sarcophagus is a possibility, to eliminate that chance, it should remain closed. Thanks for the warning, Beckett. I thought you I'll keep it in mind. Chance. There's a good possibility we may not meet again. Goodbye, young one. I appreciate it. Well. Ooh. Sounds like even he is getting somewhat unsure about the sarcophagus. Well, what could be in there? We're going to find out fairly soon. Maybe not too soon, but fairly soon. I mean, we all want to know what the deal is with the... Basically, the MacGuffin that the whole plot of this game revolves around. So, in we go. And then get to the next... the next story mission. It's gonna be fairly... interesting, and in, that is notable in that it's the last fairly interesting mission in this game. Hey, girl! You see night? You are so lucky this is Elysium, Cammy. <laughs> um, I need to talk to Nines. The prince wants an al alliance with the Anarchs. Who's across? An alliance with us? Huh. I see. You're fucking with me, right? Do I look like a goddamn source of amusement for you? Well, the blood hunt is off. Ming Shao killed Kraut. She's a shapeshifter. We told him Nines didn't do it. That son of a... And that freaking bitch! If I ever get my hands on her, I'll tie her eyelashes to her ass hairs and pull her ass into a car compactor. Demon! Dog! Whore! Where's Nines? Okay, alright. I'm fine. Nines, yeah. I can't believe it's coming to this. Oh, I hate those goddamn devils in the water and I hate that fascist dandy prince. Goddamn Zhao. Nines is a what? I get it. Where is he? I need to see him tonight. You do that. Thank you. So there we go. The Griff Park. I'm uh, make a cat here. Alrighty now, so to Griffith Park we go. Indeed I am. Griffith Park. As I already said, it's going to be a pretty interesting part. And... Well, why not wait for it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's basically... Well, I'm not sure if it actually said so. I don't think it did. So, that actually kind of sucks. But, in fact, this is the point of no return for the game. And it's the point from which on we officially enter the end game. So... Well, we're gonna see. Now we are going to take that lift up to... the park, I guess. Well, up to the hill that is in park. Sadly, the scenery is not much to speak of. Um, it is, in fact, fairly dull and shows very well that the game's visuals haven't aged all that well. But then I've seen worse. <laughs> that looks slightly better. 
It's still really simple, but it's at least something. Here we are. Let's see if we're gonna meet nines. We should, I think. Out there and... Of all people they sent you? Alright, let's just talk terms. So the prince proposes an alliance with the Arnox to get rid of the Kuwai Chin. Does he now? You know, we just ended a war with them and we lost a lot of people. Too many. Does he expect us to do all the fighting while the Camarilla throws mean looks from the sidelines? Or are they ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those goddamn devils? Well, they're willing to do anything it takes to make this alliance happen. I still don't trust LaCroix. But then again, the Camarilla didn't wholesale slaughter us upon arrival. God damn it. I'm stuck between a rock and a son of a bitch. Your people need a leader right now, more than ever. Hmm. It seems strange. LaCroix wanting to go to war against them all of a sudden. But something's not right. But I think this alliance is for the best. Not what I mean, kid. Smell that? Smells like smoke. We gotta get out of here. Oh, what do you mean? Kid, we've been followed. That fire's coming from all directions. Oh. It's man-made. We gotta get out of here. This is bad. It's just a little fire room. And it's pretty far away. We'll be fine. No, kid, you don't understand. The fire wasn't set to kill us. Come on, we gotta get to the tram. What are you talking about? What's the problem? I didn't hide out here because it was a nice view. I did it because no one would come looking for me in these parts. This is werewolf country. Ah, yeah. From all that mon monster mesh we've encountered this far, werewolves were conspicuously absent. But now it's time for that. So what? The wolves are gonna be out for blood for that fire. Come on, move! Can't we tell him it wasn't us? Werewolves don't talk to us. Werewolves don't care. They kill on sight. Now let's move. We can take them. No, no, we can't. You don't understand what these things are capable of. Guns are useless, and getting close is suicide. The only thing to do is run. Now let's get to the tram. We can't waste any more time. Well, yeah, about that tram. Alright, let's go. Shit, <laughs> it's leaving. Oh. Come on, kid, we gotta get inside that building until it comes back. That's bad. So, this section. What is there to say about it? Quite a few things, actually. Now, the thing we actually, like, had to do is to survive this part. Um... Oh, hey. Um, now, we actually had just to survive this part, as I said. This wouldn't be that hard if we used celerity like that, but... That is not the only thing we can do right now, even though that's what the game would suggest. No, no, we do have an alternative. Now, as Nines already mentioned, we can't kill werewolves, because, as we all know, the only way to kill a werewolf is using silver weaponry. That we don't have. But there's this place up here that... Oh, wait, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. Never mind. So that means first we have to go back out here. Then we have to... Ah, come on, I totally forgot about the layout of this place. I think we have to go... Somewhere around here. Yes, we do. There's this little building that... Yikes. Get away from me. No, seriously. Get away from me, man. What is wrong with you? That has the power supply that we can switch on. Which is what we want to do. Then we get back in here. When we are back in here, we have to get up there. Up here we can open up... This gate. Then we get back out here again, because I'm not too sure, but I think it is a fairly good idea. Now, where's our furry friend? There he is. So that means we are low in health. Shit, hope I'm not gonna die here. There you are. Fine? Fine. That means we can now just kinda close the door into his face. Which is, in fact, the only way to kill the guy. Come, come. Here, doggy. How about this thing? Well, it's something, I guess. Ah, damn. Cut. I think now we got him. See? Ah. And I wish it would have worked on the first... On our first try. I mean, come on. That would have been so cool. But nah, nah, nah. Of course it didn't. 
But now that we've killed him, we get a few more experience points and can finish this part faster. It's not really something we have to do, but it's much cooler than just wait in here and hope that he goes away from by, by himself. Anything in here, not just a toilet. Well, you know, could have been something interesting in here. You never know. But yeah, Wolf is dead. And we can make our getaway before, you know, his, um, his friends arrive here. Like, you know, the rest of his pack. So... And away we go. I think it gives us, yeah, in fact, four additional experience points. That's pretty amazing. But well, time to get back home. Escaped from Griffith Park. That went better than expected, you know, all things considered. I didn't really think it would go that well. But now... We are basically entering the actual endgame. Which is... Something we're probably going to wait for until the next episode. So... As soon as we have arrived here, I will probably call it the day for today. So, as you all know, I am your German snob. This is Let's Play... Oh. Exactly. But yeah, uh, I think that there shouldn't be a further cutscene coming on. I don't know. Don't remember the part all that well. Ah, yes, exactly. Now I'm going to call it an episode for today. So as you all know, I'm your German snob. This is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and... I'm going to be seeing you again tomorrow, and until then, have a wonderful evening and goodbye.